Hello, welcome to Biology, the scientific study of life. Hormones and other chemical signals bind to target cell receptors, initiating pathways that uh, culminate in specific cell responses. Hormones, uh, the body's long distance, chemical um, regulators uh, convey information via the bloodstream to target cells throughout the body. Other chemical signals called uh, local regulators transmit information to target cells near the secreting cells. Still other chemical signals called uh, pheromones uh, carry messages between different individuals of species. As in mate attraction, as mentioned earlier, we will concentrate on hormones and neurohormones that are not directly involved um, in reproduction. Three major classes of molecules function as hormones in vertebrate, proteins, and peptides. Small body peptides containing up to 30 amino acids. Aminas uh, derived from amino acids and steroids must protein, peptide, and amino hormones are water soluble, whereas steroid hormones hormones are not. Regardless of their chemical nature, however, signaling by any of these molecules involves three key uh, events, reception, reception, signal transduction, and response. Reception of um, the signal occurs when the signal molecules binds to a specific receptor protein in or on the target cell. Each signal molecule has a specific shape that can be recognized by that signal's receptors. Respitors may be located uh, in the plasma membrane of a target cell on or, or inside the cell. The binding of uh, the of a signal molecule uh, to a respiratory protein triggers ev events within the target cell. Signal of transduction that result in a response, a change in the cell's behavior. Cells that lack respirators for a particular chemical signal are uh, unresponsive to that signal. Let's talk uh, or take a closer look at signal transduction and the kinds of the cell spawns induced by different types of chemical signals. Cell surface respirators for water soluble hormones. The respirators for must water soluble hormones are embedded in the plasma membrane, projecting outward from the cell surface. Binding of a hormone to its respirator initiates a signal transduction pathway, a series of changes uh, in cellular proteins that converts an extracellular chemical signal to a specific intracellular response. Depending on the hormone and target cell, the response may be the activation of, the of an enzyme, a change in the uptake of secretion of a specific molecules or arrangement of the cytoskeleton signal transduction from some cell surface respirators activate Activates protein, proteins in the cytoplasm that then move into a nucleus and directly or indirectly regulate a transcription of specific genes. Early evidence for the role of cell surface receptors in triggering uh, signal transduction pathways came from in studies on how the hormone uh, epinephrine stimulates breakdown of glucogen to glucose. Another demonstrations uh, of the role of cell surface receptors involves changes in a frog's skin color and adaptation that helps. Uh, camouflage the fr frog uh, in changing light. Skin cells called um, uh, melanocytes contain the dark brown pigments, melanin, uh, in uh, cytoplasmic organisms called melanosomes. The frog's skin appear appears light when melanosomes cluster uh, tightly around the cell nuclei and darker when melanosomes spread through the cytoplasm. A peptide hormone called melanocyte stimulating hormone controls the arrangement of melanosomes and thus the frog's skin color, adding a melanocyte stimulating hormone to the interstitial fluid surrounding the pigment containing cells causes the melanosomes to disperse. However, direct um, microjunction of melanocyte stimulating hormone into the individual melanocyte does not induce melanosomes dispersion evidence. 
uh, that interaction between the hormone and a surface respirator is required for hormone action. A particular hormone may cause diverse responses in a tar in target cell with different respirators for the hormone, different signal transduction pathways, and or different proteins for carrying out the response. Consider the multiple effects of pinephrine in mediating the body's response to short-term stress. For example, notice this figure. Um, liver cells and the smooth muscle of blood vessels supplying skeletal, uh, skeletal muscle content B type, epinephrine, respirators, whereas the smooth muscle of the uh, interstitial, uh, uh, interstitial, intestinal blood vessels have A type, epinephrine, respirator. These tissues respond differently to epinephrine, resulting in a decrease, decreased blood flow uh, to the digestive tract and in Increase the delivery of a glucose to uh, major skeletal muscles. These effects help the body to react quickly in emergencies. Notice that. Um, intracellular respirators for liquid or lipid soluble hormones. The first indication that the respirators for some hormones are located inside targets or target cells came from studying the vertebrate hormones estrogen and uh, uh, progesterone. For most mammals, including humans, these destroyed hormones are necessary for the normal development and function of the female reproductive system. In the early uh, 1960s, Years, researchers demonstrated that estrogen and uh, progesterone accumulate within the nuclei of cells in the reproductive tract of female rats. By contrast, no, um, no estrogen accumulated in the cells of tissues that do not respond to uh, estrogen. These observations led to the hypothesis that cells uh, sensitive to a steroid hormone contain internal respiratory molecules that bind specifically to that hormone. Researchers later identified the intracellular proteins that function as respirators for steroid hormones, thyroid hormones, and the hormonal from, uh, form uh, of vitamin D. All of these hormones are small, musty, non-polar, hydrophobic. Um, molecules that diffuse uh, easily through the hydrophobic interior of cellular embryos. Uh, intracellular respirators usually perform the entire task of uh, trans uh, transducing a signal within a target cell. The chemical signal uh, activa activates the respirator, which uh, then directly triggers the cell's response in almost all cases. The intracellular respirator, or respirator um, activated by a lipid soluble hormone is a transcription factor and then or oh, and that response is a change in gene expression. Most intracellular respirators are already located in the nucleus when they bind hormone uh, molecules which have diffused in, fr in from the bloodstream via the extracellular fluid. Um, the resulting hormone respiratory complexes bind to tear in turn to specific sites in the cell's DNA and stimulate the transcription of specific genes. Some steroid hormones respirators, however, are troubled. Um, in the cytoplasm, when no hormone is a present binding of a steroid hormone uh, to its cytoplasmic uh, respiratory forms, a hormone respiratory complex that can move into a nucleus and stimulate transcription of specific genes. In both cases, mRNA produced in resp uh, resp uh, response to hormone stimulation is translated into new protein in the cytoplasm. For example, estrogen induces cells in the reproductive system of a female bear to synthesize a large amounts of ovalbumin, the main protein of egg white. As with hormones that bind to surface respirators, hormones that bind to intracellular respirators may exert different effects on different target cells. The estrogen that stimulates a bear's reproductive system to make oval, um, uh, oval biomen causes the bear's liver to make other proteins. The same hormones also may have different effects in different species. For instance, 
Thyroxin are produced by the thyroid gland regulates metabolism in humans and other vertebrates. But in frogs, thyroxin has additional effects. It triggers the metamorphosis of a tadpole into an adult, stimulating res res resorption of the tadpole's tail and other changes.